Back on Northern Burrows, our quest for waders continues. Karina and I went back about a week later and we saw two species of bird that we hadn't seen before. First was these. I initially thought they were sandpipers, but they are the wrong colour and don't have the distinctive eye stripe. Anyway, looking at them close up rather than through the viewfinder of a video camera, it's pretty obvious that they're not sandpipers, so what are they? But I think that they're actually Dunlin in winter plumage. Dunlin or Sandpiper, what do you think? I have to admit, the first I think they're one, then the other, and by now I'm completely confused. Karina and I spent the evening poring over pictures of the different types of British wader. But we really would like to ask somebody who's got a little bit more knowledge than we have. Something in the region of 5,000 people read the blog each day. so. One of you must be a bird watcher. What do you think? Are these winter dunlin or are they something else that I've completely managed to misidentify? They are lovely, whatever they are. This is the second mystery species, and unlike the first one, we really have no idea what this is. It looks a bit like a curlew, but it appears to have darker feathers around the vent, and even something that looks a bit like a ring around its neck. I have no idea what it is. But I hope that somebody watching this will be able to tell us. And although I don't really need an excuse to make a trip to Northern Burrows, I've been coming here for years and I really love the place. This newfound interest of ours really gives us one. We have only been doing this for a couple of weeks and already we've seen how the animal populations fluctuate over such a tiny part of the year. And I would not be at all surprised if, over the rest of 2012, both on a macro and a micro level, we see some amazing changes in the bird populations. I love to watch these little birds skittering around their daily business. Our new hobby of watching British waders is an oddly addictive one. And long may it last. Unlike most of the hobbies I've taken up over the years, this one is relatively harmless.